Well, what's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. Today I have gathered some of the craziest topwater baits that I own to try to catch a fish on every single one of them. So I just want to kind of bring y'all through them one by one to see what y'all think about them, give y'all a first look at them before I get them out on the water. The first one I have for y'all today here is this little cicada bug. And it has these two little wings right here. I forget the exact type of bait that these are considered, but basically these two little wings go out and they wobble back and forth making a really cool little action. So that's the first one right there. The second one is this spider. This topwater spider is really, really neat. It definitely gives you the creepy crawlies, but this is basically just like a frog, topwater frog, but in the shape of a spider. So I don't think we'll have a problem getting smoked on that. Our third bait is probably my favorite of the bunch, and that is this topwater snake. It's a wake bait, and this thing just slithers in the water. The action is super awesome, and I've got annihilated on this quite a bit by some big bass, so I'm really excited to throw that. And fourth, but not least, is this bird. It is also one of those little wobbly baits with the wings. Just gonna wobble back and forth. And it's a neat little dude, just basically the size of a, I would say a small bird or a baby bird. And it just maybe like if it fell out of its nest and it just started kind of trying to get out of the water, maybe something like that would get slammed by a bass. I actually had a friend out here who sent me a picture of a bass that he caught with a bird inside of his mouth. So I definitely know the bass around here will eat some bird baits. But if there's any other crazy topwater lures that y'all can think of that you would like to see me use in a future video, make sure you comment down below and I'll definitely try to make sure I get to that at some point. But hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video and if you do, make sure you drop a like for me. It'd be much appreciated. So let's go ahead and get all these crazy topwater lures on my rod and start fishing with them and hopefully we catch a giant. Let's get the party started today with the black snake wake bait. This thing has some crazy action. That tail swims in the water super well. I fished with this a few times and I really, really actually enjoy throwing this bait. So I'm excited to get in the water and it's black, which is perfect for today's conditions. That black is gonna create a ton of contrast out here with the sun shining down on it. So hopefully this thing gets smoked really quick. I'm feeling a bite coming pretty soon. I don't think this thing is gonna take too long to get smoked. There's a few ways you can work this. Just the most straight up way is just to kind of nice steady retrieve it in. And you can also throw some other little twists in there. You can do a few little pops and stuff like that. That is pretty good for triggering bites. Or you can just pause it and that bait is just gonna coil out to the side. It's got a nice little pause action. So mixing those things in can definitely be key to getting a bite on a bait like this. But honestly, just that nice steady retrieve, that tail has such good action. Just that alone is gonna really create some awesome strikes. This corner is usually fire, so we should pick one up in here. I would hope. There we go, got him. First one on the snake. And I think my bait is actually the same length as my fish. What is going on? Look at that, that is hilarious, guys. I can't believe this little dude went after that. Ambitious little guy. Take a look at that. This bait is literally almost just as long as this little small fish right here. I cannot believe this little dude came up and smoked that, but the second that bait hit the water, it was either a bunch of shad back there or a bunch of fry, but they all kind of like spooked back there. So there's a good bit of little fish action back there. So I'm definitely gonna try to toss back in there to see if I can't get another bite. But that is our first fish on the crazy top water bait today. Just a tiny little dude, just a little dink. Let's go ahead and get him back in. Bye bud. Oh, oh, that was a fish right there. Hold on, let me get it back in. I was trying to reel it because there was a bunch of grass stuck on it. Let's see if you'll hit it again, come on. I don't know, the fish is pawing in the wild, so it's hard to tell. There we go, got him, got him. Second fish on the snake, definitely a better one. Come on in here, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, guys. That might be like a three, or maybe four pounder. Holy smokes. Um, okay, not that big, not that big, but definitely a quality bass. Get on in here, my dude. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, all right, get in the boat, get in the boat. Take a look at that, guys. Chomp that snake, absolutely annihilated that thing. Let me find my plier so I can take it out of, out of this guy's mouth. Hold up one second. There it goes. But that is our second crazy topwater bait fish of the day. 
think it is time to go ahead and switch on to the next one. So let me go ahead and put this guy back in. <laughs> he left with some fury. Oh my goodness. Wow, that guy splashed me pretty good. But it is time to move on to our next top water bait, our next crazy one, and that is going to be this little bird right here. Cool little bait. I've never actually used this type of top water bait. So ones with the little wings that come out and they kind of like wobble back and forth. So this is actually my first time using any type of bait like that. So I'm excited to get this thing in the water. So let's go ahead and tire her on and see what kind of damage we can do with our next crazy top water bait. Time to get started with crazy topwater bait number two. This little bird is hopefully going to get smacked. I'm super excited to see the action on this thing. That little wobble. Ooh, oh yeah, that looks so good. That looks so good. We're gonna get absolutely smoked on this thing hopefully soon. One of these big old large jaws is gonna come out and demolish this thing. I'm expecting complete annihilation and nothing less. There's a few little adolescent bass hanging out up there on that bank probably too, oh they're both <laughs> they're both coming after this thing i don't think they're big enough to bite it though there we go <laughs> our first fish on the freaking bird right here oh my gosh another pipsqueak just a little jimmy what's up jimbo and there it is the first fish on the little bird right here i was honestly expecting a pretty big bite to come on this thing and that was not the case. We've been fishing with it for a while, and this is what I got as a reward. So we're gonna keep going with it, gonna try to get a better fish than that, but this is just a tiny little dinker. Bye, buddy. There's a fish behind it. Hit it, please, come on. He's thinking about it. There's two fish underneath it. Suzanne, throw your worm in there. Reel it up a little bit. Reel, 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 reel. Drop it. You got it. No. There you go. <laughs> throw back in there. There's two. There's more. There's more than one fish. I decided to make a switch to do some bank fishing instead of fishing out of the boat. That pond I was fishing, I wasn't having a ton of luck at. The bite was kind of slow, so I'm making the change. We're going to see how this pays off. I'm going to definitely try to find us a big one though. I think we're going to have a lot better luck doing this than hanging out on the boat the rest of the day. There we go. <laughs> I got him on the dangle. Oh no, it came off. <laughs> I think my reaction was delayed right there. I was looking at my GoPro, like the back screen to see if my framing was right. Just because like I'm standing on a little bit of an incline. I had to kind of adjust it right there. I look up and, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. This fish, I think we can get this fish. But I looked up and my bird was gone. There we go. There we go. I got him that time. I got him that time. Come on in here, bud. Come on in here, bud. That's a good fish, guys. That is a good fish. Oh my gosh, look how dark this bass is on top of his back. Jeez. Look at that. Absolutely demolished that thing right there. I knew that fish wanted it bad after going for it on the dangle and then again on a second cast. And we finally got him on a third cast up in there demolish that thing but this guy is really dark on his back right here when i was pulling him out he looked even darker than he does right now but that is a great bass right there that's definitely some better quality than the ones we were catching in the other pond so let's go ahead and get this girl back in and on to the next bye baby there we go there we go got another one on the bird come on in here buddy Come on in here, buddy. Surfing on in. Got him. No giant, but a respectable little dude. Look at that. Another one on the bird lure. But it is time to officially take the bird out of commission and put on the cicada. But that is a great, healthy little fish. So let's go ahead and get her back in so that we can do that. There she goes. Got the cicada all tied up now. So it is time to get this thing in the water. It is essentially the exact same style bait as that bird, as I said earlier. So let's go ahead and get this thing in there and see how it does.
it's not rolling exactly how it should. I kind of have to like wiggle the tip a little bit. They kind of get it to do that wobbly action sometimes. And I think that's mostly because these little wings right here, unlike the bird where they were metal, these are actually kind of like soft plastic and bendable and whatnot. So I think it's just having a little bit harder time wobbling because they're not quite as rigid. But I definitely should be able to get the job done. It's just a smaller profile bait of the same style. So I hope I can get a big bite on this, but we might catch a smaller fish. We're just gonna have to throw it out there, see what bites it, and hopefully we get one here soon. Oh, there we go. Fish on. There we go, first fish on the cicada. Come here, bud. Come here, bud, up underneath that bridge. It took a bunch of casts to finally get one, but we finally got ourselves a nice one. I think this is the best one all day, guys. Holy smokes. That's a good boy. He, I don't think he's hooked that well, so I'm gonna try to be careful with him getting him in. Oh. Take a look at that, guys. Crush that cicada right there. I think she is just barely hooked. And she was. <laughs> I was correct on that, just barely holding on there. Holy smokes, guys. That is a very nice fish. Probably about two and a half pounds. If she was filled out, she'd be, she'd definitely be three. Super long fish, gorgeous right here. She just came up and smoked that thing up underneath that bridge. I took like five or six casts up under there, was just being patient with it. Really felt like there was gonna be a fish up under there and she finally crushed it. So let's go ahead and get her back in and move on to the next. Bye baby. I'm gonna go ahead and crawl up out of here. Oh no, fish came up for that right away right there. Oh, he didn't get it though. There we go, fish on, <laughs> fish number two on the cicada. Just a little mini guy. I figured we'd probably have some smaller bites on this thing, but the first fish on this was actually the biggest one we had all day. So this little sucker is a surprise. Popped right out, oh, dropped him. <laughs> Later, bud. Oh, oh, that was another one right up in that same spot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what did we just catch? Look at this micro bass. <laughs> Look at that little fish right there, guys. That is a micro bass. And my even, I mean, I don't even know if this thing is like three grams. This is a tiny little dude. I can't believe he went after this thing. Actually, I can, this is a pretty small bait, but still, this is an ambitious little dude. Come here, bud. Definitely got a mouthful of hooks. He was just wanting a big old bug for a meal. This little dude has future giant written all over him. Let's go ahead and get him back in. Off he goes. I think it is time to go ahead and retire the cicada right here. It did us well, caught us a few little dinks and a really quality sized bass today. Let's go ahead and go over to our last crazy topwater bait, which is the spider. Got the spider tied on. You know, we're just trying to match the natural forge here. We're at the beach. We got some big old banana spiders. I think this one looks pretty much like a banana spider, but we got some nice pads up here down this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this out there after I get this unraveled off my tip up here. That's a little bit annoying. So let's get that off. There we go. Let's go ahead and give her a toss. Hopefully I get destroyed by a big old bass in these pads. That would be awesome. First cast possibly. Oh, that was a nice little blow up in the pads. I, was, I wasn't looking. I was kind of looking at something to my left that just kind of caught my eye, but I was really far out. I don't think that was a very big bass. So that would have been hard to set the hook on. So I'm not too worried about it. I think we're gonna probably get a few more bites on this thing. There we go, there we go, fish on, fish on. Oh, oh, it's a good one, it's a good one, it's a good one, it's a good one, guys, it's a good one. Holy smokes, that's a good bass, guys. That's a good bass. <laughs> Let's go, the spider caught us a pig. Take a look at that, smoked it right there. Barely got him, honestly. He was not pinned like super deep. That one's actually in there pretty good, I lied. Definitely our best fish yet. I'm actually gonna wipe him off real quick, he's all grassy. 
so y'all get a better look at them. There you go. Gorgeous, gorgeous guy. I mean, sheesh, that is a piggy right there. I think she's probably about, I don't know, she's probably close to, probably close to four, honestly. That's a really quality bass right there. I'm super stoked, especially because I got like my bait stuck on one of those pilings. And I kept trying to skip it in the right place and I finally got it there. And voila, perfect little skip cast to a nice big old bass. That's exactly how I like to do it. Let's go ahead and get her back in. It's time for you to go. Are you ready? Oh, 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 here it comes. <laughs> One more last dance. I kept trying to skip that bait for a second up under that bridge. I kept hitting that piling on the right. I hit like seven times. It was ridiculous. And I finally, right when I got it through there, all the way back where I needed it to be, that fish came up and crushed it. <sighs> That's exactly how you wanted it to be done. So let's see if there's another one up under here. Uh, up under here, I can't talk. Come on, up from top of the bridge. Let there be a little bass hanging in that pocket. I think I need to get a little closer to that wall. I think there's a little overhang where it kind of goes up. Oh, perfect. There's a fish in that spot. No way he doesn't need that. There's a baby turtle, there's a baby gator. Now there's gotta be a big old large gel somewhere around here. There we go, got one, got one up in the corner. Yes, sir. I didn't even see him eat that thing. He just came up and slurped it. Good little fish. Good little fish. Oh, he had a worm in his mouth too. It just came out, it's floating back up to the surface. What? I don't know if y'all can see that, but that little pink dot right there, there's a little pink worm. That is actually the worm that came out of that fish's mouth. Isn't that something else right there? That's crazy. Look at that, crush that spider. There was actually another worm that came out of this dude's mouth right there on the edge of the bank. It sunk down, but it looked like someone almost caught him and he was able to get out of it, but not this time. Got him on the spider. Great little bass right here. I cannot complain about that at all. Let's go ahead and get this sucker back in. Adios. And on that note, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If y'all want to see me fish with more crazy baits, topwater baits, regular baits, whatever it might be in the future, comment them down below. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But as always, Bass in this Passion, peace out.